First, we'd like to let uh, welcome our viewers, Kara and Tim, from the Rochester Museum and Science Center to the show. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey guys. Got your hands full today. Yes. 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 So what did you bring with us? Or bring to us today? A couple of geckos. Nice. This is the crested gecko. <laughs> this guy, or this girl here is an African fat tail gecko. Cool. Okay, now where are these geckos located? I'm assuming maybe Africa? Yeah, so Western <laughs> Africa um, for her, and then New Caledonia, actually. Which is the east coast of Australia. Okay. Oh, I was thinking okay. of South Rochester. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. But you know, you won't find them there. Some of that this time of year okay. they travel. All right. But they're very cool. So type of climate, two different geckos, two different locations, yeah, different um, climates. She definitely likes a drier, more arid climate. Okay. Um, she will hide most of her day. She's definitely an nocturnal animal. They like it dark where they can hide. Um, whereas this guy here likes it more high up in trees for sure. Okay. Tropical climates. And, but he's still nocturnal okay. and he likes the tropical climate. Very cool guy. The big difference is uh, some of the structure Okay. in with Sophie, this oh, this is Rocco, by the way. Rocco, uh -huh. Rocco, you watch him every now and again. You'll get, you will get lucky. We'll see him. He'll clean his eyeballs, his eyes with his tongue because he doesn't have eyelids. Okay. So it's kind of neat. Yeah, we were talking about that before the show. How so he on climate-wise, these guys don't live in the same. Mm. They can't then live in the same kind of in containment area? No, okay. nope, they don't live in the same enclosure. They have two separate two okay. separate cages. Um, his is going to be a taller tank okay. so that he can climb up and down if he'd like to. Hers is going to be side by side so she can go in a dark place if she wants to. Okay. Or, um, she climbs a little like bit, little but not much. Like little huts in there yep. to hide exactly. in. Exactly, exactly, a little bit different. Now, some reptiles shed their skin, mm -hmm. okay? Do the geckos? They yes, absolutely they do. do. And the coolest part about the way that they shed their skin is they shed it, but then they also eat it. And most of the time, they'll do this because they can get protein out of it. Okay. But they also want to uh, trick predators so that they don't know where they are. So they'll leave their skin, oh, they'll eat it, interesting? and then walk away. Predators have no idea where they are. Whereas a snake, you'll be able to find a snake by right. knowing where it's, you know, its, shin, uh, it's skin has shed. Oh, yeah, you just lick his eye like a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. <laughs> Not the only thing that makes him pretty cool. Let's see if we've got. So while you're setting this up, what do these guys eat? Or what? And would this? I mean, could I have one of these <laughs> as a pet? Away. Would they be a good thing to eat? I mean, not eat, but. What do they know. eat? Yeah, what do the, uh, they? They like guys? insects. Um, so crickets specifically, um, they're gonna like for sure. But they'll also eat things like worms and okay. stuff like that. Yeah. So Rocco's pretty cool. Let's set him back down. He says, I've worked my way all the way to the top, mister. <laughs> but he's got Look nanotechnology him. in the pads of his feet. Nice. Hundreds of hairs in, in separate sections that actually grip onto smooth surfaces and allows them to climb up walls. Actually, they're taking that kind of technology and trying to use it to, to devise dry adhesives. So it's oh, kind of he's kind of okay. neat. He works pretty well. Sure Look at does. him looking right over there. Yeah. <laughs> and she doesn't have that adaptation, even though they're both geckos, they're okay. different species. Sure. Um, so she does not have that adaptation. Again, she is more um, going to be on the ground, so she doesn't need those pads. So gotcha. over over time, she lost that adaptation. Another really neat thing about Rocco that we um, thought would be really fun to share is that they actually thought that this type of gecko was extinct up until 1994. No kidding. And then they found wow. it again. So it's actually fairly recent. Um, and now it's a big gecko for the pet trade. Cool. They're really, really, really fun to have. They're, they're entertaining. They jump. <laughs> so we're kind of hoping he'll, he'll, he'll jump for yeah, us. He's got, he's got he's the prep got, move now. Right? He's, yeah. uh, he's really, really good at jumping again and climbing and doing things like that. So he's really fun to watch. Cool. Um, another fun thing about him, he has those nano, um, that nanotechnology on his tail too, oh, um, wow. so he can use his tail. <gasps> there, there he goes. goes. <laughs> so wow. he didn't like the glass tail. so much. He wanted well, to get back on your shirt. I think moreover, he looks, looks for the heat. You notice his oh. color will change with his need. A little darker when he wants to draw in more heat. A gotcha. little lighter when he wants to reflect it. So my bearded dragon does that too, and mm -hmm. uh, in her enclosure, she'll change colors. Or Just by kind of, their mood too, right. probably. Cool. Yeah. Another really neat thing about these guys um, has to do with their tails. So her here, she has a really fat tail, so they're actually called African fat tail geckos. Right. Um, that is mm -hmm. obviously because of the fat tail that they have. They store their fat in this tail. Um, just in case they can't find food for a few days, they'll actually get their energy from the tail. But another really cool thing that they can do is they can actually drop their tail from their body. So say a predator's chasing her and grabs onto the back of her tail, she can release her tail right about here, which will cause the tail to drop off her body, she runs away, tail will still wiggle and move a little bit, right. which will cause a predator to eat her tail, thinking that it's getting some type of dinner. She can actually regrow her tail after that. 
Oh, wow. I know these are reptiles, but she looks like suede. She does. She has she a feels really like a basketball neat. She does. Texture. She feels like a basketball. She's got a really nice texture to her. Um, their skin is really, um, really great for them. When it rains, it just beads up on there so it doesn't cool. soak in or anything like that. Nice. So it's really, really cool. I love the design. Yeah, she's got yeah. a great design. Very similar to leopard geckos. So yeah. people will always ask if she's a leopard. A um, little different species, but very similar. Cool. Very, very similar. Okay, um, it doesn't look like geckos have ears, but they do. Yeah, they um, do. Can you tell us a little bit about them and how their hearing is important to them? So their hearing is very important, especially with any animal that's nocturnal. Um, the, at oh, nighttime, yeah. you're not going to be able to see very well, of mm -hmm. course. They do have, their eyes are a little um, special, so they can see a little bit better than we can at night. But hearing is really where they're going to want to detect um, uh, predators and things like that from. Mm -hmm. If these little holes. A, yeah, I was going to say, oh, if you take okay. a quick look, Those you can really the, see it in Rocco. Yeah, Rocco's is a little bit easier well. to see that at. Yeah, my uh, bearded dragon has a big yeah, membrane on the yep. side. Those you can see way head. better yes. on the beardeds. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Well, these are really cute and really cool. <laughs> yes. They're, they're so. very fun to handle. So you were saying that these guys aren't uh, high on trades, but they're a good pet to have if I was a kid? They are. They're, a great, be they're a great beginner pet. Right. Um, they definitely are good for kids to have. The problem is that they do eat live crickets, so right. you do have to have live crickets around. Mom better like that. Exactly, right. exactly. <laughs> um, and those uh, crickets can be escape artists sometimes. Sure. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got to be okay with having a cricket or two in your house sometimes with that. Um, but they do, um, or they don't tend to cuddle or do things like that. So kids who really want something that they can cuddle and be with all the time. These type of animals, they really don't like to be handled a whole ton. They're okay, okay. with being handled a little bit, but. Cool. Okay, well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thanks, it was nice to see you guys. Thanks, thanks for coming, guys. Oh, oh. You got a I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Want to know more about this animal and others like it? Go to our website, homeworkhotline.org, and click on videos. And stay right there. We'll be back in a second.